Gotta find what these St. John boys up to. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Dunno. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I don't know. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Where is this fucking cow they keep talking about? I ain't hear one moose since. Gotta give her back the hat. Um, is there anybody over here? Is that... Who is this? Ben? No, that's Danny. I could not see. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I don't know. I don't know. It'll be a good one. I don't trust these dudes, bro. At all. They on some fishy shit. Don't even like fish like that. Or oh, you grab another toolbox. Just gonna borrow this for a second. That's all we need is the multi tool. Uh, I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. Let's talk to the people that's over here. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. I think she was trying to tell me something. But then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor inn where we at least know what to expect. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? 
We are guests here, and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Yeah, he's trying to live here. He's trying to become Kenny St. John. Did you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just backwards? get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah. And we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Oh my gosh, shut the fuck up, Larry. Damn, it was like, what the fuck? Just be talking. Oh my goodness. Oh, it is a cow. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Andy, let's talk. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. Give Clementine a hug. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. She looks skinny. It too, huh? Where did you come from? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? You're being stupid, Kenny. Stupid? Stupid? Nice one, Lee. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, That's Kenny. Okay. What's your genius idea, Professor? Let me have a look at what we're dealing what with first. Do you say you want to 
talk to me? Exactly. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? That's how a racist. You know, urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? It's on you, Kenny. Ah, uh, no. No, we're fine. Just looking around. No problem. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Can you distract him, bro? Like, where are you at? like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Yo, Kenny does not do sh Oh, I hate messing with this dude. I'm just gonna go outside the barn. I don't know. Blow up his house or some shit. I don't know. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Man, go Larry, bro. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Spitting hella game right now. Wait, can I go on? I probably can't go back in the toolbox. I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. There you go. That thing is on too tight for my bare hands. Okay. There, that should do it. So, whatever. Back in the barn we go. I'm going straight for the back. I'm wasting no time. I didn't even to talk to Kenny because he didn't help with shit. It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! 
Come on, let's eat. Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on, don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. I want to kill Kenny. What is this? Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Okay, that's not really good cap, but... We know it is Cap. Oh, 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 Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. a mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Let him rest? Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. You're right. You're right. Just the bathroom. Gauze pads. Some kind of loose. I don't really care what's in there. We're gonna sneak upstairs. that cord going? Can I grab it? Did I just plug it out? What the hell? I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Uh, what do they need so much morphine for? Can we follow the cord? The cord goes downstairs, what it looked like. Bedroom door. Where the hell was Mark? But Brenda said he was up here resting. They definitely did say that. Feels like there's a storm coming. Is that blood? Is that blood? Uh, farm books, cookbooks. What's behind that? Is the ordinary here? Why would you have this other door locked off? Well, blocked off, really.
His legs? Mark! What the hell happened? Brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. <laughs> down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? He just had a stall. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human. It didn't have to be this way. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? I'm uh, scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Quite what is going on? We need to get the kids and everyone out of here. We need to go now. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised what? and how I raised my boss. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna puke. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Hmm? Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of you gotta grab your gun right here. quicker than that, bro. What the fuck? The fucking what? Put fuck? your guns down! We're walking you out of here! here my Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? We're screwed. Lee? Lee? Oh, you're wild. Let go of her, you son of a bitch! episode kind of he ain't gonna lie to you is this the end of it Open the goddamn oh door. more episode you can't keep us in here <coughs> open up i will tear you fuckers you apart with my bare hands gotta find another way out of here <coughs> yo shit <coughs> fucking bastards <coughs> open this door god damn it <coughs> i will knock the we goddamn door stop. down was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet! Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, I don't want to say about that. This nigga Larry is literally yelling his lungs out for... There's n I don't... How, okay. I don't know how to word it. He's literally just yelling, yelling, yelling. And that's what he's been doing the whole gameplay. The whole gameplay is just him fucking yelling the entire time. No matter what, it's him yelling. He might be calm voice, but it's always in a, like, angry tone. Like, bro, shut the fuck up. It's just annoying. Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat hey, locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here! I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Yo, yo, we 
Total Lily, Total Lily. Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! Please settle down! I'll, I'll rip your goddamn heads up! Come on, Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah, I want to attract their attention. So I can fucking kill them! Relax, bro. Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? You were a prick back at the motor lodge. Even after I saved your fucking life. And you went out of your way to be an asshole to me tonight. You must really hate me. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! Open up, oh, goddammit! I'm not on. your enemy, Larry. I don't believe you. Don't forget, I know who you really are. Come on, try yourself. Fucking coward. Oh my god. Salt legs. Pretty heavy. Think we could heave it through the door? Nah, door's too solid. Why were we supposed to do it here, bro? Let us out now, if you want to live. That is Meat. not going to help. Yeah. I don't want to know what kind. They're not going to open the door. Shelves are pretty sturdy. We could climb up. Right uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. Dad, this isn't helping. They got caught you and Duck, Lee. Those fuckers have my family. I know. We're gonna get out of here and find them. Uh, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, Look at him. Here we go. His heart. Easy. <sighs> We don't have to kill him. We don't have to. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Kenny, listen. Don't think I forgot about what you said at the drugstore when you all thought Duck was bitten. Well, I'm just doing the same Old thing. Duck Except dead, Duck so wasn't relax. bitten. And we know this guy's not going to make it. Remember what Ben said. We've got to destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You've got to have now my back this time. To ben? God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Kenny, don't do this. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! You're putting all of what? us at risk, you son of a bitch! You're Three. fucking worthless, Four. Lee. <laughs> no! Kenny did that. It had to be done. You don't Kenny know that. Yes, that. I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. Stop counting on me, bro. Nah, me and Kenny can't be cool. Bro. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me. <laughs> and that's the fact you did it in front of a little girl. A little girl. Okay? Eight years old or whatever is she it is. Over? I didn't want Larry to die. I know, baby. I know. <laughs> Yo, Kenny is a e I, know. But you I would say irrational. Right now. Uh, I need you irrational. To Think about something else. Something Piece of shit. Hopeful. Like he's like what? Oh gosh. How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad. 
Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. You don't do shit like that, bro. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we gotta have the balls to do the hard thing. You or can't do shit like that, to. bro. That's so irrational. You talk a big game, but could you do the hard thing if it was Katja or Duck? It's never gonna come to that. Not if I have anything to do with it. For all we know, the St. John's might have- No! They, they need Katja, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us here. And no doubt they're using Duck as a bargaining chip. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. I just gotta get to him. That's all. Oh my gosh. She's probably not gonna wanna talk. I'm sorry. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. I'm sorry, Lily. I truly am. Larry and me... Just words of encouragement, that's so all. Great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. <laughs> I think I talked to everybody in here. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove Don't the screws. Don't you got the multi-tool? The multi-tool. Of course they took, oh, they took it off. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. Do you have a coin? Mm-mm. Going to need a coin. Lily, do you have a coin? By any chance? It's not coming off that way. Lily, do you have a coin? Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but... Damn, that's a moment, tough <laughs> Larry, That's a tough ass. Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <laughs> Yo, Lee's a funny do guy. Do what you man. have to do. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Just search some Lee. Stop making this more harder than it has to be. Huh. He still carried his wallet. Here we go. Two quarters. There you go. Two and quarters a and a dime. This thing was broke. Let's get to it. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Another thing I wanted to say about Kenny, he's the one to always, like, have an idea and then act like when he, when it goes through, he's the one who did everything. No, bro, and then he makes horrible Hurry the fuck decisions. Up, we don't have all day here. Shut the fuck up, Kenny. God damn, I hate this dude, man. First chance I get to leave you, I'm leaving you forever. our way out, Lee. I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, I know. It's a pretty small vent, but 
Maybe Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. Um... I don't want you doing this. You know you don't have to do this, right? I know. I just want to go home. This will help us get back home. Where is home, nigga? Okay. Like, shut up, Tomo. Get back home. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. She gonna make it, come on. Let me just see that handle turn. Okay, no turn. Are you okay? Did anyone see you? No, but there's a man outside. Where the hell are you going? What do you care? See what I mean? Kenny! Oh, bitch. I just did everything just now. I just Let did me. everything. I'm sorry. We gotta go. I know. Need a minute to say goodbye. Hey, we're good, okay? Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Let him handle it himself. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. He can handle that all himself. I promise you. Can he want to meet a big bad wolf, huh? Let him. I told you there was something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. Shut up. Taser, either. Yeah, I think I'll take that. That's more of my type of one. Don't want to talk to you. Excuse me, Kenny. Can I go through? I have to talk to him about this. Like, hey, we're gonna go through the door now. Can you fucking move? What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. Watch how this works out for him. Just watch how this works out for him. Go ahead, Kenny. Do your thing. You ain't right making me stay out here all night. I didn't even know them. They just treat me like I'm some kind of screw up. Go, Kenny. This is on you, boy. Are you gonna move? Hey, what's taking on? Hey, what are you doing outside the bar? Oh, shit. Just guarding the place, like you said. I mean, sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Get one to keep and two. What's he doing out there? I don't I know. know. Not the kid. And there's meat on the tray. We'll take him out together. Uh, oh, I know. Doesn't know we're out. This is my favorite part, too. When I let we one think they can just walk right out. See what he's doing now. Lee, focus. Where's Danny? Bro, I can't even, like, look. 
it won't let me. See where he is now. Hey, keep your eye on him. I did. He's right there. Grab the. I was pointing up, it just didn't move up fast enough. What is this controller sens sensitivity on? Two? Alright. Can he please do something? Kenny is a bitch. Just a fucking bitch, man. Yeah, I'm done with Kenny. I'm not gonna lie, I'm done. I could've I could have been dead. I should fucking kill you right you should. now. That's why you killed that woman in the woods. She was about to spill everything. You weren't ready to hear yet, Lee. Had to stop her. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. Yeah. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like you didn't kill Jolene. What's going on? You Sorry, Clem. I'm so sorry you had to see that. But, yeah. God, no! Katja! Just go. I'll keep Clementine safe. What is Kenny doing? I just want to know what Kenny's doing. How are you saving your family? You better not let be letting Andy fuck you up, bro. Or Danny, whoever the fuck. Kenny. That is. Are they in the house? They might be. Yeah, they might be. I was thinking they might be outside, but no, they gotta be in the house. Was that bad? No, that was uh, Carly. Carly! Me? Of course she did. Is everyone okay? You guys have been gone way too long. We need your help. Yeah, when you guys didn't come back, I figured something was up. What can we do? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Oh, strapped up. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. Definitely coming from the house. What is Kenny oh, doing, bro? I'm gonna take the boy and check around. Oh, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Set him down. I don't want to hurt y'all. Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there?
You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Do I step up? Think about what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Bro, how slow do I have to walk? Oh, what? Why was he moving? Oh, oh my god. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Stay back! Don't I'm do moving. anything stupid! Let her go, Brenda. Please, listen to me. Do it. I gotta walk slowly on this one, for sure. I, I don't wanna kill you, Lee! Please don't make this any worse! Just stop! Can we grab her from here? Step up one more time. One more step. There we go. That shit, man. They took Doug. Where's Teddy? I said, don't move, asshole. Don't you fucking hurt him. Oh my god. Let go, god damn it. That ain't gonna happen. And don't Get shut up. up. <laughs> A rational ass, Kenny. Who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done! Calm down. Calm down? What for, huh? All we wanted was some goddamn gasoline! Good shot. Oh no, I must have been trash. There's a lot of Be a bitch, fuck it. I'll take over the panel. Get up! Get the fuck up! Yo, I'm literally. I'm about to say, like, what? No. I'm spamming for something. Lily! How many rights can I hit him with? Lee, that's enough. <sighs> I would have jumped him that little ass puddle right there. He's had enough. And then put two between the stars. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit! It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dana 
Papa get out here. You, you all fucked. Yeah, I'm fucked then, I go. I said it's over. Oh. Just walk away. Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Yeah, moments like that. Get so back here and finish this, Lee! Nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee! You're done, Andy. Let's go. It should be over by now. I'm beyond two hours of recording, two hours, 15 minutes. Should definitely be the end of episode two. Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy... We might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah. And Clementine almost ate some. But... I stopped her. I can't leave her alone, Carly. This fucking world now. It's hiding just unspeakable shit at every turn. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while ah. I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. <laughs> For killing Lily's dad. Okay. <laughs> he tells his wife, hey, give me only a second. That's normal, right? And then the first sentence he says to me, there's going to be fallout. After you, one, you did so much irrational shit. One, you kill her father. Irrationally, I might add. We're in the barn, and I we agree on a plan to jump out on him at the same time. I jump out on him, grab the gun. I look at you, you look at me. And that's it. <laughs> you don't do anything. Which is pussy. My I my uh, that's that's very like come on bro, you can't do that. And then as your family is supposed to get shot or well, your son's at gunpoint, you literally don't do anything about it. Well, you, you do do something about it. Irrationally. You run at a man with a gun. Great. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? Yeah, you're destroyed as well. You destroyed this group, Kenny. There's no coming back from it. I did what nobody else would. Everything's gonna be different now. See what I mean? Kane's just a bitch, bro. That's what it is. It just Come on, it is. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? I'm sorry you had to see that, but I only did it to protect us. Because they tried to hurt us? Yes. 
Okay. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Is there more episodes, bro? It's gonna be a very long one, too. This might go into like 225, 230 range. We're almost at 220. Hello? He's oh crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. And look, this is the reason why Kenny's selfish again. First thing he sees is the food, and what he says, oh baby, you gotta come and see this. Not oh group, oh guys, hey fellas. No, oh baby. Cool, Kenny. I remember that. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> yep. Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. But what if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? We kind of have to take this, bro. Because we thought we had food at the barn. Turns out we had people at the barn. So no, we can't even go back there. I mean, there was a cow, but we can't really... We can't really do that. So, why don't we stay at the barn? I mean, a generator blue. Ah, that's, I don't know, that's so tough. I feel like we should have stayed at the barn in a way. But yeah, we kind of have to take this because we don't have no food anywhere. We don't have a choice. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not about right and wrong anymore. It's about survival. Yeah. It's locked. No shit, I already tried that. Mm, but I heard you take the keys the from up front. Up. I made a mistake. God damn, Kenny. Like, shut up, bro. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. Supplies? I'll take it. More food in here. Stain gang. It's our shit now. Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. Come on, we're not like those people, man. We're not like the bandits, honey. We didn't hurt anybody to get this. Understand? I guess so. Clem, you would have starved out hey, there, so there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live uh, that down, sorry. are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna want to see this. 
Oh, shit. What are they showing me? Us being watched? Kenny? I see Lee? Larry? Carly? Um, the other guy? Clementine? Lily? Baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If you're thinking it, you're I'll safe, you know. sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. People who took... Who is that? Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. Who is that? <laughs> like, what? That's the cliffhanger? I guess. I mean, she's dead now, so... This place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy. I'm the one keeping this group going. We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else. <laughs> Okay, a lot, a lot of drama involving Kenny, you can see. A lot of drama involving Kenny. Savior, chopped off David's leg. I left him to die because I didn't want to bring more people to the camp. And we end up even bringing more people to the camp. Interrogation, shot Jolene. We didn't shoot her because you just can't shoot on first sight. You just can't up and shoot people. We are not the cops. I don't know what that says. Help kill Larry. Your video center player didn't. No, because it didn't make sense to do that. That was, that was once again, that was the irrational Kenny right there. Revenge killed both of the St. John's brothers. You were sixty-two and didn't kill both. Um, just don't want Clementine seeing all of that. The first one I kind of had to. I felt like, but the second one I was like, ah, let let him do what he wants. Sort of food from the car. We needed the food. Needed the food badly. And here we go with these credits again. All right, that's going to do it for episode two of The Walking Dead season one. So this is a pretty long episode. This episode came out to about two hours and 30 minutes, somewhere around there. You now, this episode we could either cut up in two parts, maybe three parts. I will see how the process will go with that. But if you did enjoy, be sure, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more Walking Dead. And if you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe. Like I said, like I said at the beginning of this episode, 80% of people are not subscribed that watch the videos. So if you're not subscribed, just hit subscribe and, you know, for more videos. I feel like I told you to subscribe three times in like the past minute. So hit the subscribe button. See you next video. Peace. Always step out of nothing you had. My whole closet is close if you don't got it. That's for all of them nights nice that I double tap girls just for me to keep capping and don't copy. I drained all my energy. Can't no niggas who don't help themselves.